Hi everybody, Ben Mays here with another ClearNav video for you. I'm sitting here in my office and was going through about to ship out some product and thought now would be a good time to take a break from the website build that we should be launching here in February just before the convention and show a little unboxing video going through everything that comes with your ClearNav 2 flight computer. I hope you enjoy. Uh, this will take you through all the components that you're going to receive when you unbox your unit. And if you have any questions, uh, send us an email at sales.clearnav.net. Here we are with our ClearNav 2 box. As we open this guy up, the first thing we will pull out is the ClearNav 2 flight computer. The ClearNav 2 flight computer uh, most commonly is seen uh, as a behind panel mounted flight computer. However, in this, uh, in this case, this, has, this one is gonna be sent without a bezel. The gentleman already has a bezel for it, but we have a rubber boot around it when we first open it up. This rubber boot allows for flexible mounting options. It could be mounted in front of the panel uh, through our uh, four 57 millimeter hole pattern. So you can mount it right to the front of your panel if you wanted to. It can also be stock mounted. There's a piece you can put on uh, that you can put a ram ball mount or various stock options if you need to remote mount this unit. Um, if you would like the traditional behind the panel mount though, you will receive it without the rubber boot and instead you'll have an aluminum bezel. This aluminum bezel will already be installed in front of the unit here and it gives your four mounting holes and a nice smooth bezel so you don't see any of the unit you would just see the nice smooth bezel lines around and a little bit uh, recessed for some glare reduction as we look at the back of the clear nav 2 unit you have your serial number you have your security seal tape our 15 pin connector a USB port and your GPS antenna. So that is the ClearNav 2. Also in the box, uh, you will, when ordering, select from two remote options. Our first remote option is the stick mount. This is going in an ASW19. So previously we had the push to talk on the top of your stick uh, here, stick remote. So you have all of your remote navigation options, your menu, zoom in, zoom out, home screen selection. We have since transitioned to a uh, smooth push to talk in the back of the stick, making it easier to use. And there's also a provision for your uh, trim in uh, any of the AS products. Attached here is enough cable length to route through the stick and behind the panel. And additionally, you have your wires to go to your radio for the push to talk. The other option is to have a handheld remote. The handheld remote can come with a variety of lengths of cable from the end of it, and that can be uh, either used as an independent remote. If you just want a handheld version that you can stick in the pocket, uh, you can also take the modular unit and I've seen it panel mounted. Uh, we have it that way in our ASK 21s. Um, so that way it's always up on the panel. You just have to reach up to use it or, uh, people use, have an additional remote, uh, that they can plug into their unit when they're on the grid and want to manipulate it from sitting outside of the glider and don't want to have to reach down and use the stick. In either of those cases, we have our four pin modular box that will connect your remote to your Nexus cable I'll show you in a minute. But this modular box plugs in, it can be mounted right on the panel or it can float behind the panel to connect your stick to your Nexus port. Additionally in the box, we have our standard GPS antenna we have our USB stick 
that has the current update versions. It will have your calibration sheet on it. It will have all of the update software to update your ClearNav and as well as the waypoint files and uh, everything you need to run your ClearNav will be on the SanDisk cruiser blade. Very important that you keep this USB stick. If you do have to replace it, we uh, suggest you replace it. You, you keep an additional SanDisk uh, and it has to be an eight gigabyte stick. We have two uh, six channel, four pin connectors. These connectors are very important to keep uh, if you are going to use the stick option in routing, you're more than likely going to have to cut the end off your stick here. When you go to reinstall, it's very important that you make sure that you get the correct order of wires. So with the tab down um, and connectors up, it goes black, red, green, and yellow. And you'll need a, a, a standard six pin crimper we have those available. We can send you uh, with your box if you don't already have one, or you can pick one up at your local hardware store. Continuing through the box, we have our power supply switch. We have a USB extender to mount into the panel with mounting screws. So you can mount that into the panel under the panel, wherever you would like to, and then plug in the USB extension to the back of the unit. So when you're downloading flights or uploading traces, you don't have to get behind your instrument panel each time. Last but not least, we have our Nexus cable. This Nexus cable has replaced the Nexus box that was previously found in older ClearNav 2 units and in the ClearNav 1 unit. So now you just plug this into your 15 pin connector in the back. It's gonna route down, coming off it, you have your red and blue are your power and ground wires for your unit. Continuing off, you have your red and orange wires. Those go to a speaker. There'll be an additional speaker in the box that has about three feet of wire in it. So you can splice the speaker and route it wherever you need to. Uh, for ease and uh, ability to hear the speaker clearly. Then we have our flarm cable. All of these are clearly labeled. So your flarm is your eight pin connector, your red and your black are your power supply. And then that feeds your flarm information right into the ClearNav. The CNV is your serial cable that's coming off to attach to your ClearNav uh, variometer, plugs into the air data computer, if the ClearNav variometer. If you don't have a uh, ClearNav vary in your glider, you can just leave that short. Then you have two remote posts. So these remote posts uh, coming off, those will plug in to the other end of your four pin modular box to connect. So you can either make that connection and leave it behind the panel if it is the uh, stick grip remote and that just leads to, uh, makes a good connection there. Or if you're gonna panel mount to your secondary remote, you'll need a, a second modular box that we can send you if you have ordered two remotes. It does come with one remote, but if you want an additional remote, we can do that for you. That is everything that comes in your ClearNav 2 box. I hope that was a nice informative video for everybody. And if you enjoyed that video, remember to like and subscribe so you get notifications of any new videos coming up. If you have any videos you would like to see made or posted, leave a comment and or contact me at ben at williamsoaring.com and I can get you any of your product needs. Hope everyone has a safe 2023 soaring season and I hope to see you at the SSA convention in February. Uh, have a nice day.